Welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about this article that was published four days ago from Claude and which in my opinion is complete cope, but they are trying to excuse the recent problems with all of their models. Now you can see here it says between August and early September three infrastructure bugs intermittently, de intermittently, yeah right, degraded Claude's response quality. We've now resolved these issues and want to explain what happened. We all know what happened, Anthropic. You changed the model. We're not stupid. In early August, a number of users began reporting degraded responses from Claude. These initial reports were difficult to distinguish from normal variation in user feedback, i.e. we didn't take people seriously until people stopped using Claude code, and now we've had to do this blog post to try and lure people back into using Claude code. By late August, the increasing frequency and persistence of these reports prompted us to open an investigation that led to uncover three separate infrastructure bugs. To state it plainly, we never reduce model quality due to demand, time of day, or server load. Okay, so, <clears throat> I don't want to get in trouble here, but I don't, in, in my opinion, this allegedly isn't true. I don't know how to say this without getting in trouble, but I don't think this is true personally. Um, I think that um, there was some kind of reduction in model quality, but I mean, if, if Claude is saying there isn't, maybe I'm wrong, so... We recognize users expect consistent quality from Claude, and we maintain an extremely high bar for ensuring infrastructure changes don't affect model outputs. In these recent incidents, we didn't meet that bar. The following post-mortem explains what went wrong, why detection resolution took longer than we would have wanted, and what we're changing to print similar incidents. We don't typically share this level of technical detail about our infrastructure, but the scope and complexity of these issues justified a more comprehensive explanation, and also because everyone and their grandma knows that the quality of Claude code has reduced. How we serve Claude at scale. We serve Claude to millions of users via our first party API, Amazon Bedrock, and Google Cloud's Vertex AI. We deploy Claude across multiple hardware platforms, namely AWS Trainium, NVIDIA GPUs, and Google TPUs. This approach provides the capacity and geographic distribution necessary to host servers worldwide. Blah, blah, I don't really care about that. <laughs> okay, so timeline of events August the 5th. Context window routing error affects 0.8% of Sonic 4 requests. Yeah, that's not the problem. Output corruption errors, load balancing impacts, approximate top K XLA TPU miscompilation. So they're basically claiming that everything has now been fixed for Claude code and Claude code is now perfect again, basically. The overlapping nature of these bugs made diagnosis particularly challenging. When was the last update? September 12th, okay. The first bug was introduced on August the 5th, affecting approximately 0.8 requests are made Sonic. Two more bugs arose from deployments on August 25th and 26th. Although initial impacts were limited, a load balancing change on August the 29th started to increase effective traffic. This caused many more users to experience increase uh, issues with other, while others continued to see normal performance, creating confusing and contradictory reports. I really just, I'm, I'm not really sure about this, to be honest with you. Below, we describe the three bugs that caused the degradation when they occurred and how we resolved them. Context routing error. On August 5th, some Sonic 4 requests were mis misrouted to servers configured for the upcoming one mil context window. I'm not going to lie, guys. I had problems with Claude way before August the 5th. Like, I've been having Claude problems with Claude since, you know, late July, I would say. So I just, I really don't know if this is just absolute cope and they're just trying to lure people back into using their software because Codex was taking over. But, yeah. This bug initially affected 0.8% of requests on August the 9th. A routine load balancing change unintentionally increased the number of short context requests routed to one mil context servers. At the worst, impacted hours on August 31st, 16% of Sonic 4 requests were affected. I use Opus 4.1, so I'm not even bothered about this, honestly. On August the 25th, we deployed a misconfiguration to the Claude API TPU service that caused an error during token generation. An issue caused by runtime performance optimization occasionally assigned a high probability to tokens that should rarely be produced given the context. For example, producing Chinese or Thai characters in response to English prompts or producing obvious syntax errors in code. I did notice that there were <clears throat> a lot more syntax er errors in code, which it does seem to have fixed itself. A small subset of users that asked the question in English might have seen some, I, I think that's Thai or something else, yeah. In the middle of the response, for example, the corruption affected requests made to Opus 4.1 and Opus 4 on August 25th to 28th and requests to August 4th, 25th to the 2nd of September. Third party platforms were not affected by this issue. And then there's the resolution. Approximate top K XLA TPU misconfiguration. On 25th of August, we deployed codes 
To improve how Claude Code selects tokens during text generation, this change inadvertently triggered a latent bug in the XLA TPU compiler, which has been confirmed to affect requests to HiQ 3.5. Like, nobody gives a shit about any of this. This is a complete cope, in my opinion. This is not... The, the, this is not what was actually wrong. However, I will say that recently, like more recently, in the last week or so, I just used Claude Code to fix uh, an issue I was having, which Codex could not fix, right? There was a problem. I couldn't sign in. Uh, I did OAuth here. I don't actually know what the problem was, but Codex created a problem, and I just could not fix it for the life of me. And then last night, I actually I went out, and I just left Claude Code on, like you can see, I just I just let it go, um, and it ran all of these different things. You can see, wait, that was wrong. Let's test the login. Still getting five hundred. Let me check the SQL being generated. The app is using UID generate four, but Postgres thirteen plus uses gen random UID. Let me check that and fix it. Extension is there now. Fix it. Let me check the latest errors. Now the OAuth ref refresh tokens are missing. Let me test the login again, and then eventually I actually managed to log in. So. Claude did manage to fix something which Codex was stuck on for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. I was trying to do this for so long. Like, let me just show you guys. Like, you can see all of this is me trying to fix the same problem. By the end of it, I was getting so angry with it that I was just literally just like, just please fucking fix it, bro. All of this, look, it's the same thing. It kept telling me the same error. It would refused to acknowledge that the error was generated by itself, right? But you can see here, Claude Code, on the other hand, did actually realize that uh, Postgres uses, uh, what is it, random, where is it? Uh, so yeah, it says here, the app is using UID generate, but the new version of Post SQL does not use that. Where is it? Um, let me just find it. I can't pause the recording because, wait. Oh, here we go. The app is using UUID Generate 4, but Postgres SQL 13 Plus uses Gen Random UUID. Let me check and fix this. So, it turns out that it actually wasn't a problem with the... <clears throat> with, with, like, a, it wasn't a misconfigured M variable or anything like that, which is what Codex told me over and over and over and in actual fact it was a problem with the code which claude code did actually end up fixing so i don't know there is something perhaps from this article that means like there was actually genuinely a problem with claude um and it's now been fixed but i still wouldn't say that claude code is as good as it was when it was released so i'm just i'm really not sure what to think but it does seem somewhere that claude code has improved in the last kind of week or so. And I can definitely attest to that because there's no way that it would have been able to fix this uh, a week ago. It would have just created more problems and just got completely stuck. But now I can genuinely log into the SAS, <clears throat> which was my overall goal. Like I was not able to log in. Um, and the key difference again between uh, Codex and Claude Code here is that it was doing its own curl requests to test if things were working. Um, you can see login, make an account, everything. It was doing all of that, whereas Codex was just saying, nah, you, you're just doing something wrong, mate. Just go and fix it. You're obviously doing something wrong. I, it can't be me. I'm perfect. There's definitely another problem with this. But yeah, I mean, there wasn't, and the problem was actually what Codex was giving me. So I, I don't know. I feel like Claude Code is a necessary part of the AI development process just because of the, of the way that it can send curl requests, it deals with MCPs, it deals with CLI and all that good stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd just make this video quickly because I thought it was interesting that um, basically uh, Anthropic are claiming that they had a bug. And if that's true, then maybe, you know, Claude Code is worth using again. But yeah, I'll, I'll see what you guys think about that. I think I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.